Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. You guys doing okay? I hope so. Cause today is extra special for me. As I'm about to do a commentary on two videos of Miss Sharon Conetta's performances when we had an event together in Cebu. Before anything else, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, please check out the link above. When I saw these videos on the Sharon Cuneta Network, check out her channel and subscribe to her channel, I noticed a significant difference in the quality of her performances, the way she sounded live, and the way she sounded in her videos. So if you want to find out what I'm talking about, stay tuned. All right, let's play the first video. Thank you so much for having me. And it's been a pleasure um, meeting and getting to know little by little this family. I hope there will be, we will spend more time together in the future. I will sing for you anytime, even if we're just making quick romance. So, <laughs> this is for the two of you. Thank you, congratulations. Take care the beautiful. I'm sorry, sweetheart, I stepped on your belt. Aren't they a beautiful couple? Yeah. Look at this girl, such a beautiful combination, you and the congressman. Some people have been criticizing her for talking a lot in between her songs. But for me and for a lot of other people, we like that. Because it shows us that she is willing to go the extra mile to connect with her audience, be it sharing her own experiences or just interacting with the guests. Don't you think it is way easier for her to just sing her songs, get things over with, and just leave? And as an MC and singer myself, I can tell you that speaking is actually more taxing on the vocal cords than singing. I have done an event wherein I sang 20 songs in that one night and I was surprisingly less tired, all right? My chords were less tired than speaking, like what I'm doing right now. So, you've met Maestro Luis Ocampo, one of the top three musical directors in the Philippines. He's also my musical soulmate for 43 years. I met him before I started singing. He was teaching piano, I was learning the Yamaha organ. And he went on to become the Luis Ocampo, and I became a singer. This is for you, from one of my favorite movies, Ben this and Max. Ah, <laughs> uh, I really love her since I was a child. I wanted to see her in person all my life, to meet her personally. And I actually did a whole video on uh, my experience meeting the mega star Miss Sharon Cuneta. If you haven't seen it, feel free to check out the link above. Ferdy, where are you? Her voice is as sweet as she is. Despite being an alto, she really has a very feminine voice. She also has that magical effect on people. You can sense her sincerity and warmth despite being one of the brightest stars in the country. That also explains her longevity and why she still has her fans from when she was starting out and now a whole new generation of admirers. She is a celebrity amongst the celebrities. Let's continue. I 
I did mention that I will be uh, commenting on this video, comparing it to the live performance as we heard it. But I just can't stop listening to her, so maybe in a bit. Honestly, I don't think this video is doing her any justice. I know it's from Sharon's own YouTube channel, but I can tell you now, as sweet and as enchanting as she sounds here in this video, her actual voice live sounds even warmer than what we are hearing in this clip. Her voice just melts your heart. She has the innate ability to make you fall in love with her and of course the songs that she is singing let's continue this is a lovely song up to now by mr ray valera Did you hear the Umi Ibig part? She went for a softer, breathier sound as she turns up the emotions. Quite effective, if you ask me. She really has a knack for storytelling. She puts her emotions in every word of the song. Even if she did kind of break character in that short moment earlier. She sounds spectacular spectacular in that chorus and bridge. That's her signature Sharon Cuneta sound. She's got quite a lot of uh, projection, quite a lot of volume there, which works. Considering what you just heard isn't even as solid as what we heard live. Brilliant nonetheless. I just don't know why the video camera wasn't picking up the real strength of her voice and how well supported it really was. She went for her head voice uh, with the Sino part. Lovely. Just lovely. A perfect ending to one of her most iconic songs. People have also criticized her for being too emotional. 
people just assume that she is out of breath when she sings. You know, it's her. People with lower voices are not as cherished as singers with higher ranges. That the most effective singers are those who are able to move you.